Hello everybody, welcome back to the Centitar Fragrance Channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Today is another fantastic day. Another fantastic day to be smelling great. My name is Benjamin and I review fragrances, colognes, perfumes, and all things scent related. So you've come to the right place, a fantastic place to learn more about scents, fragrances, perfumes, all those great things. Today we're going to be talking about one of my most favorite fragrances. A fragrance that I, I love this fragrance. It is, it is a beloved fragrance. To me, it is superior to a number of fragrances that I will mention. Of course, those are fantastic fragrances. You can always wear what you love. I never mean to offend. But let's talk about this scent. Let's talk about what it does for you, what it can do for you. I will say that it doesn't look like I've sprayed a bunch, but I have smelled it. I saved this fragrance for special occasions. For me, this is a very special fragrance. This is one of my favorite fragrances and I do save it for special occasions. So let's talk about this fragrance. First off, we'll talk about the box. Real fast, you're here for the juice. It is a simple presentation box, but overall it is classy, it is effective. I do like it if they do save a little money and put it into the juice, but yet do have a nice, stellar, kind of classic looking box. Nothing to be ashamed of here, that's a nice box. But this is the bottle, guys, classy, and straight to the point it does have this kind of uh, protector for the uh, for the little uh, I guess you could say uh, not the nozzle or the the stem that gets the juice that's a protector in the middle it gives this fragrance bottle a very kind of a classic look you this is an unmistakable bottle the Dior own line has a signature look I do enjoy that but now let's jump into the scent let's jump into the fragrance itself well, first we'll talk about the scent itself and its composition, then the projection longevity, then the complement factor, and lastly the price. So the scent here, the composition, what you're getting is a beautiful, remarkable fragrance. This fragrance is built on iris. If you're unfamiliar with iris, it has a very soft, beautiful, skin-like, almost musk-like scent to it. It's very beautiful. It can become floral, and it can become... Uh, almost aggressive if it's used in high concentrations. It often is seen as a more feminine floral, but here it's used very tactfully, very beautifully, and in a modern kind of way that this fragrance actually smells a little bit more on the masculine side. A confident lady can wear this fragrance, but for, as far as iris goes, this is the most masculine iris I've ever come across. Uh, what you're getting also here uh, along with that beautiful soft floral that doesn't particularly smell like a floral you're getting a musk this fragrance definitely is a more of a musk scent now don't be as scared of that this isn't a aquatic musk or a salty musk if you really dislike those kind of, kinds of aquatic fragrances what you're getting here is a beautiful just kind of sensual kind of skin smell it's very beautiful it blends with the skin very well and it also creates a great sillage when you walk around so we'll get that and talk about the performance in a second what what you're also getting here with that musk with that beautiful iris a soft velvety fabric like feel is also a little bit of a ginger feel now this isn't mentioned in the note breakdown i do get a little bit of a very soft nuanced ginger feel and i do like that in the fragrance that probably is coming from a blend um, kind of an accord from this white pepper in this fragrance, which I don't detect a lot of white pepper. Now, this that gives this fragrance not a spiciness per se, but just a little bit of pop, a little bit of extra freshness and character. You could say that this fragrance overall has a aquatic DNA, but it doesn't smell like an aquatic. This doesn't smell like the ocean. This doesn't smell like a typical cologne fragrance. This is not boring in any way. This is a more subtle fragrance, but this is definitely on the classy side and on the charming romantic side. So let's talk about the projection longevity. Guys and gals, this is one of the reasons why this fragrance, along with how beautiful that smell is, why this fragrance is so highly regarded and what I consider one of the best fragrances out there. This fragrance, I thought at first was going to be a six hour fragrance. It's so light, it's so playful, it's so smooth. Not a lot of fragrances perform beyond that. Each six hours is actually pretty good for a fragrance of that kind of DNA. This fragrance consistent, consistent, consistently gives me seven to nine hours. 
seven to nine hours of beautiful performance. You're getting fair projection. It's not a shouter. It's not a loud fragrance. It's a little bit more subtle, but it actually has good sillage. So when you walk past people, or if you're in the office and you're just sitting there for a while, you'll start to create a beautiful bubble. Now for professional situations, for fragrances where you're gonna be closer to somebody, perhaps a date, this is exactly that kind of fragrance that you want. You don't want a fragrance that's gonna shout, be too loud, and this is gonna smell fantastic close to the skin. It's gonna blend and become a part of you. A beautiful scent, it performs in a beautiful way. There's no way that I could knock this on performance. In fact, for this kind of smell, how light and how beautiful it is, I highly recommend that this fragrance and really give it props and points for its performance. Now we're getting into the compliment factor. Guys and gals, I have praised this fragrance for its smell. I have talked about its stellar performance for a very light, beautiful light fragrance. And now I do have to praise it for its compliment factor. This fragrance not only has a almost aquatic type of feel, it's beautiful, it's soft, it's enchanting, it's a beautiful fragrance, it's charming, it's romantic. This fragrance has gotten me some of the most beautiful attention and the most beautiful compliments that I've ever come across. Now, because this fragrance isn't a shouter, you do have to be a little bit closer to a person. And I do feel like this is a more charming scent, but so it works better in those situations. So it hasn't got me the biggest number of compliments, but the quality of compliments is beautiful. And for how subtle that this fragrance can seem on the skin, it still draws a really good amount of compliments. So compliment factor is very much here. This is a charming, beautiful fragrance for a modern man. Now we're gonna get into the price point. This fragrance is is a limited release fragrance. It was only released, I think, or created for Macy's, and um, it has limited distribution. I don't know if it's discontinued. I don't know when it's gonna be discontinued. It likely will. This is not readily available in malls. It's not available in my Macy's mall, um, And I, but I do say that uh, this fragrance could go up in price. I don't know if it particularly will. It does have a few, a little small cult following, but right now, you're going to pay for pretty much full retail. You're not going to get a discount on this fragrance. If you like cheapies or if you like discounted designer fragrances, this is probably not going to be your, fav your fragrance. A full-size bottle is probably going to go close to $80, $80 to $100. I did manage to get one of the few lasting 150 ml bottles left, and I was very happy to get it, and I hope I never run out of this beautiful juice. A fantastic beautiful fragrance and my final review and my final ratings I do have to say that if you're an uber masculine man that this isn't going to be the most masculine fragrance but neither is this a feminine fragrance this isn't a fragrance that should scare a masculine man off if you have a charming side if you have a soft side to you and you want that kind of fragrance that's going to help you express that in a romantic situation in a fragrance in a situation that you just want to be charming. Maybe that's a family reunion. Maybe that's when you're gonna to go to your daughter's rehearsal. I don't know what that situation might be for you, but whenever you're just wanting to be charming, soft, cl a classy gent, and you just want to put your best foot forward, this is one of those kinds of scents. I think that this could be a signature scent, a beautiful one, because it's mass appealing enough, but yet it's distinctive and special enough to be a signature scent. So what do I say about this fragrance? What do I rate it? I give this, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. In the designer world of things, this is one of the most remarkable fragrances, one of the best fragrances I've ever come across. Now I did say in the beginning that I'm going to compare this to a few fragrances and perhaps um, offend some people and I never mean to offend people, but this is often compared to Prada El Homme, a fantastic beautiful fragrance that also highlights iris in a very beautiful way. I feel like that fragrance is more casual and more clean. This is more on the special side, a very beautiful fragrance. It has almost like a rose feel to it. So that fragrance is fantastic, highly rated, and I would recommend it. But I think that this fragrance is superior, and I probably will do a fragrance battle head-to-head -head with that one. And also, 
YSLY. Also, in my opinion, has a slightly similar feel to this fragrance. Not in the smell, but the composition. And I do feel like if you do like that DNA or wanted to like that DNA and just didn't enjoy it, I encourage you to test this fragrance and try to get it, get a sample. Go out there, get your nose on this fragrance because it's beautiful. Now, in also closing thoughts, I will say that I have tested the whole Dior Homme line. I know that those are beloved lines. I do like the Parfum version a good bit. But um, often those are praised and some of the most beautiful fragrances out there in the designer game. Some of the, some of the best designer fragrances ever created. And in my opinion, for my personal taste, this is the one I go for. I love musk scents that are earth real, fantastic, beautiful kind of mystical scents. It has a beautiful musk. It has a beautiful kind of that, again, that spice is so beautiful, that iris, that musk. What this fragrance does in my world it suits my personality and it's it's just so beautiful i hope i haven't praised this fragrance too much i hope i haven't gone on and just said you know too much about this fragrance but in closing thoughts again a beautiful fragrance a 10 out of 10 in the designer world one of my favorites one of my hall of fame fragrances i will dote on this fragrance and be mentioning it more in the future so thank you all so much for being here today this is one of my favorite fragrances no doubt about it and uh, if you stuck around to the very end, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you for supporting me on my fragrance journey, being a supporter of this channel, helping this, you know, building the fragrance community and helping my channel to be a success. Um, please let me know in the comments below what kind of charming, professional business like fragrance that you like. What is your favorite romantic fragrance? What those kinds of fragrances? Perhaps if you like musk fragrances, let me know in the comments below what's your favorite musk. This is one of them. This is a beautiful fragrance. I have to praise it, and I'm sorry if I've gone on too long about it. But thank you all so much for being here today. Please, again, support my channel in any way you can, and I'll see you all next time. And, of course, wear what you love. I'll see you, and bye.